Methinks I am a prophet new inspired, and thus expiring do foretell of him. His rash, fierce blaze of riot cannot last, for violent fires soon burn out themselves. Small showers last long, but sudden storms are short. He tires betimes that spurs too fast betimes. With eager feeding, food doth choke the feeder. Light vanity, insatiate cormorant, consuming means soon preys upon itself. This royal throne of kings, this sceptred isle, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise. This fortress built by nature for herself against infection and the hand of war. This happy breed of men, this little world. This precious stone set in a silver sea. Served it in the office of a wall. Or as a moat, defensive to a house against the envy of less happier lands. This blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. This nurse, this teeming womb of royal kings. Feared by their breed and famous by their birth. Renowned for their deeds as far from home. The Christian service and true chivalry as is the sepulchre in stubborn jury of the world's ransom, blessed Mary's son. This land of such dear souls, this dear, dear land, dear for her reputation through the world, is now leased out. I die pronouncing it like to a tenement or pelting farm. England bound in with the triumphant sea, whose rocky shore beats back the envious siege of the watery ledge. Is now bound in with shame. with inky blocks and rotten parchment bonds. That England that was wont to conquer others hath made a shameful conquest of itself. Oh, would the scandal vanish with my life. How happy then were my ensuing death. Oh, let us pay the time but needful woe, since it hath been beforehand with our griefs. This England never did, nor never shall, lie at the proud foot of a conqueror, but when it first did help to wound itself. Now these her princes are come home again. Come, the three corners of the world in arms, and we shall shock them, naught, shall make us rue, if England to itself do rest but true. <laughs>